gospel seems a little harsh, but it was also written during a time where there was division between, among family members. One became a Christian, the other stayed a Jew, and that created problems. One became a Christian, and of course Luke was writing for Gentiles, the other stayed loyal to their faith and that created divisiveness in the family. Also, it was the time when Rome was beginning to persecute the Christians because they were afraid that they would take over the Roman Empire. Remember, a Messiah was to come and be the king of the universe, and they were terrified by that. So divisiveness and persecution and all kinds of machinations began to occur. But the writer of Luke said, you know, that's going to happen. If you're going to be a follower of Jesus, people will not like you. People will despise you. People will hate you. People will persecute you. Look at the myriad of, of, uh, of martyrs we have for the faith. Look at the people who gave their lives so that we might be here today and worship God as we are, as we should, as we are called to do. But you know, not a hair on your head will be destroyed. They may destroy our bodies. They may kill us, but our faith will sustain us and our perseverance will secure our lives. So in spite of persecution, there's always hope. In spite of adversity, there is still love. Thank you for participating in this production of our virtual mass. Your presence means so much. Every day, so many parishioners connect to OLPH through the digital ministry. The digital ministry is one of almost 80 ministries supported by the parish. That's why your support of the parish is crucial, so we can continue to have the resources to fund all of our ministries that touch the lives of many. Thank you for watching, continue to watch, and thanks again for your support. Thank you.